What is up guys, and today I will be reviewing the Mega Box Assassin's Creed Cannon Strike set. This set retails for 99, 74 pieces, and uh, is another great set. It is our only set currently for Unity, but it's not the only one that we're going to be getting. I believe in a couple months, well, from this review date, uh, we, we will be getting a Unity backpack. Backpack, oh my gosh. Battle pack. Um, and that will contain French soldiers and an assassin, so that's not it for the Unity sets, guys. This is the only one out currently. And uh, it does not disappoint, it's another great set. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Alright, so here's the box, and it's not as good of a design. Box design is the Da Vinci's Flying Machine. Uh, da Vinci's Flying Machine, um, in my opinion, just because I think that one is just a little bit cooler. But this one is from Unity, the game is not out yet, as I'm filming, but it's going to be great. And this is Arno, uh, what's his last name? Arno Dorian. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm definitely going to play Unity, and then I'll know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is the box, and he is a super poseable micro-action figure. You get some accessories, which is awesome, and uh, this assassin is beautiful, I will tell you that already. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the set. Alright, so here is Arno, and uh, he looks awesome in that Covert Ops dark blue color. I can't really tell what it is, I think it's just dark blue. You can actually kind of call that... Actually, no, you can't, but I don't know. Pretty cool, and I like him better than Ezio just by a little bit. So, yeah, he comes with this little crossbow on his arm. Now, that is very cool. I really like that. I want to see how that works out in the game. And he does come with a pistol, which is nice. A nice old-styled pistol. And most of his parts are removable, including his hood. Which right now, I don't know why I can't get off. Uh... And his head came off of that, too. But he does have a big hole on his head, which looks very weird. But you don't have to worry about that, because you're always going to have his hood on or his hair on. And they do give you the hair piece, which is nice. So that's all you have to do is put, him on the, put it on the head. And uh, there you go. It's the same exact one that's included in the flying machine set. But I'm not exact, entirely sure uh, what color hair he has in the game. So yeah, peg hole on the back. Just a very, very cool looking assassin. And they do give him a sword, which is nice. So you get three weapons for him. Three weapons being the crossbow, the pistol, and the sword. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the cannon. Alright, so you get this little landscape piece, and uh, you get those little barrels right there. Cylinder pieces, which I believe are cannon bullets. And uh, it actually works in the cannon, I'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, another thing is you get a little barrel to hold your weapons in, and I put his little hair piece in there just because I have nowhere else to put it, so yeah, that is a little landscape piece. Alright, here's the cannon, and it's actually much more than I thought it would be, because uh, in the box they don't really show you its entirety, and when you build it, at least for me, I thought it was much bigger uh, than it was intended to be, so I really like it. I think they did a great job on it. I'm sure there's going to be some of these in Unity, so it does make sense, and it's just a cool piece to have in any collection. Uh, so yeah, and uh, the the wheels actually work. Kind of rolls independently sometimes. And uh, this thing right here, I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it like a jammer. I'm sure most of you do know. I feel stupid. But what you do is you get your little bombs from the landscape piece. Put it in there. And then you jam that in there. Make sure it doesn't attach to the back of this. Put it back. And the cannon actually works. So you pull this back. And that thing flew out, so that was really fast. We're going to go ahead and do that again. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this a second attempt. Just going to pull it back, and there it goes. So I really like that. I think that's very cool, and kids are going to love that. Alright, so that about does it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed this set, and I'm sure you guys will too. Again, it retails for $9.99. I found it at Toys R Us. Uh, if it's not available there, uh, it should be in Target and Walmart soon, so... Uh, yeah, just check your local stores, and they should have it. Uh, I found mine at Toys R Us again. So, great set. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I don't think it's as good as the Flying Machine, but again, a 9 out of 10 is a good rating. So, I like this set, but I think the Flying Machine is just a little bit better, a lot more unique just because of the build. Uh, those are the two sets that I would compare since they're the cheapest of the first wave. So, yeah, great set, guys. Highly recommend it. And uh, Canon is great. Figure's great. Everything's just great about this set. So, Stay tuned for more Assassin's Creed reviews coming soon. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.